uh, here. Okay, now uh, you may say, and this is some of the fun stuff. I added some of the some of the good stuff on there. Maybe you're not in the play action pass world. Maybe you're in the flea flicker world, right? The flea flicker world really grew on me last year. So uh, right here, obviously, here's a flea flicker where we're going to hand the ball. We're actually going to get our second puller all around. It looks like counter. All of a sudden, now he pitches it back to the quarterback. Look at this boundary corner who's trying to fit this thing on up, right? Everyone's got their eyes on the back. Or everyone's got their eyes on counter. And all of a sudden, now we're railing the tight end on up the sideline. Creative ways to combat the defense. Now, what we did here by knowing, you know, this was this team's unbalanced adjustment, right, is we wanted to kind of sell like we were kind of push cracking inside and grab the eyes of the post safety. All right, so the quarterback's able to peek the scene down the middle of the field as the post safety gets a little bit dirty eyes in there. Obviously, we can throw the scene past him. If not, he's going one to two onto the wheel. Great throw, great location. Man, just taking advantage of it, man. Once again, for the line, right, the scheme doesn't change. It's the same exact rules, same exact, same exact blocking scheme, right? The only people that are doing anything different is the quarterback, the receivers, and the eligibles, right? Here is a, uh, another form of a play-action pass um, where we're just not going to rail the tight end to the field, right? We want to make it look exactly like our counter scheme. So now you see this play side backer as he steps down. We're actually going to bypass him. Now, our first puller isn't he, – he did not mean to – cut right here he's got to deepen himself up a little bit of his stance and we want the front side of the gap scheme to obviously take the ball a little bit tighter um, they can't give up any vertical penetration he gets stepped on by the center here but you can see if he didn't get stepped on we got 83 uncovered look at the mike linebacker he's supposed to fit counter all of a sudden oh man that's my guy all right now the quarterback does a great job being mobile and athletic all right our running back is always on what we call a roy or lou underneath these so he's on an automatic flat route once his linebacker doesn't come, that way if we care, if the wheel gets carried, we can replace with the back. And he you know, does a great job there um, getting the ball down to the back. Another huge explosive play. Uh, great finish. But once again, um, just having complimentary type plays that are built off of that day one bread and butter identity. Right. So if you're going to have an identity, you better have the complimentary plays. And that's what slows down a defense here. This was more of a uh, run action bluff. Well, we're not thinking the run. The run is not live in this deal, but we're kind of working down here to kind of sell a bluff off a of crack safety. Another one just rail in the tight end on down into the boundary. So right here, we try to sell it right here. You see number six selling like he's going to go crack. The back does a great job on our run action passes. The back to know they have any type of secondary players. So any type of nickel corner safety that comes, that's the back's responsibility. We want the line to block the, the lines, guys, Okay. Um, they obviously they just exchanged this weak linebacker with the safety. Uh, so the first pull took one, the back took the other one. Uh, and now you can see the reaction right here, right? Look at the look at the blitz and safety coming down in there. I don't know if he's blitzing or reading or reacting, but he knows he just lost his man. All right, quarterback did a great job getting that ball up and over, just understanding the timing and principles of it, bringing weak edge pressure. 16's taking advantage of it all of a sudden. Now he's in a flow position off that tight end, taking advantage of the aggressiveness of the defense putting that ball up and over, right? 